All right, Flower, so today's the day we're going to make your recipe that you told me a couple days ago. Some buffalo chicken egg rolls. I mean, that sounds crazy. I've never had buffalo chicken egg rolls before, but let's get it cracking. All right, so first things first, we're going to get our bacon. Slap that on there. We're going to cut that in small chunks. We're going to cook that until it's nice and crispy. And once it is crispy, we're just going to add that to our mixture. All right, now that we're almost ready for our bacon, we're just gonna put our pan on there for like medium heat. Just finish that up real quick. All right, we're just gonna add that to our pan. We're gonna wait for that to cook down. All right, so now that we got our bacon going, we can start prepping our cream cheese mixture. So we're just gonna get some green onions real quick, about four thinly sliced them. All right, now that we're about ready to add our Green onions to the mix. We're going to go for our chicken. We're going to shred that real quick. And whenever shredding chicken, use two forks. Do this kind of motion. So two, 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 two. Alright, so now we're about ready for our chicken to go into the bowl. We're going to shred the nut up real quick. Alright, we've got our chicken ready. Nice and shredded. We're going to add that to the green onion. And to that, we're going to add our cream cheese. Next, we're going to do is shred our mozzarella. Alright, now that we got that almost ready, we're going to get our mozzarella. Get a handy damn grater. Shred about two cups of mozzarella. Alright, got most of our cheese grated. We're about to just finish that off real quick. Bacon looking good. We're just going to take that off the heat, let that cool a little bit. Alright, now that we got our cheese ready, we're going to add that to our chicken, cream cheese, and green onions. And to that, we're going to add about a quarter cup of some French Red Hot. Next thing to do, get some jalapenos. And I'm using nacho jalapenos. Just going to quick chop those up real quick. Alright, add those to the mix. And because I'm Mexican, I like a little heat. So there's flour. Flour is crazy. Crazy. Just gonna chop those up. Boom. Right, just a little quick rough chop. Season all. Add that to the mix. Alright, so our bacon, we're just gonna pat dry it off real quick. Add that to our mix. All right, now that we got both of our jalapenos in, our bacon, buffalo cheese, cream cheese, chicken, green onions, we're just gonna mix that together till it's a nice uniform mix. Yep, and then make sure you get that cream cheese and just break that up. Oh, it's smelling like some buffalo spicy jalapeno in this going down. All right, now that we got our chicken cream cheese mix. We're going to get a pan on medium to high heat, some of our trusty coconut oil. Yep, just scoop a healthy portion on there. Like I said, we're going to fry some egg rolls. Alright, while our coconut oil is melting, we have enough time to prep our sauce for our buffalo chicken egg rolls. We're just going to get some ranch, throw it in there. Blue cheese crumbles, yep. place those in there as well. And some dill. So we're just going to mash the blue cheese up, which is good. It's going to create a nice little sauce for us to dip our egg rolls in. And keep in mind, when you're doing this sauce, make sure you smash those blue cheese crumbles in. Make it as smooth as possible so it's very consistent. Alright, so we're eventually going to have a lot of these. How do we get these? Well, let me show you. First, make sure it's at a diamond shape. Grab some uh, water, only coat two edges since these are the edges that are going to be rolled tight and going to keep that seal. Alright, so we coated both these edges. Now we're going to get some of our chicken cream cheese mixture. Nice healthy portion. You're going to get the bottom that isn't wet, fold it over. And at this point, that's when you could form it. Make sure it's rolled pretty tight. Grab one side, 
fold it over, grab the other side, same thing, and we tuck. So if done right, should have an egg roll. Now we're just going to repeat that process until we have a plate full of them. Alright flour, so we have our egg rolls. We have our heat on, we have our coconut oil. All we gotta do is fry these. Alright, so make sure if you're working slow, get a damp paper towel, put them over the egg rolls because they do dry up. And just add those to the oil. Let those go until they're crispy on the bottom, obviously, and then just flip them over, and it should be very good. All right, so these have been frying for a few minutes. Let's just check the bottom. Look good. Flip them over slowly. And you can already smell the buffalo in these. Let those go for a little bit. Sounding crispy already. Right, so they've been frying on the other side for a little bit. Let's just flip them over again. Nice and crispy. Alright, so they Whenever the other side is looking like this, we take them off, put them on with a uh, paper plate right here, and we'll finish the rest of these. Alright, so it's been a few minutes, so let's take these off the heat. the rest of these. Alright, we we'll just wait for those to fry. Alright, we're going to turn off the heat. Let these egg rolls out of here. We're just going to plate these up and we're fine. Alright, flour. We got our buffalo chicken egg rolls. We have our buffalo chicken egg roll sauce that we made. First things first, let's see how cheesy these are. Kind of cheesy. Really cheesy. <laughs> uh, let's take a little bite. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's like you get everything. You get the bacon, the jalapeno, all the cheese, the chicken. How is it with the sauce? Even better. Y'all need to try it.